walk into this room at your own risk. Because it leads to the future. Not a future that will be, but one that might be. This is not a new world. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has patterned itself after every dictator who has ever planted the ripping imprint of a boot on the pages of history since the beginning of time. It has refinements, technological advances, and a more sophisticated approach to the destruction of human freedom. But like every one of the super states that preceded it, it has one iron rule. Logic is an enemy and truth is a menace. This is Mr. Romney Wordsworth. In his last 48 hours on Earth, he's a citizen of the state, but will soon have to be eliminated. Because he is built out of flesh, and because he has a mind. You've been under investigation, Mr. Wordsworth, for the mandatory period of one year and 11 months. You are found to be obsolete. The purpose of this hearing is to make a finding in the matter and make a sentence accordingly. Do you understand that, Mr. Wordsworth? Your occupation, Mr. Wordsworth? A librarian, sir. A librarian. Having to do with books. Yes, sir. Books. Since there are no more books, Mr. Wordsworth, there are no more libraries. The field investigators in your sector have classified you as obsolete. Your rights are as follows, Mr. Wordsworth. You are to be liquidated within a period of 48 hours. You are obsolete, Mr. Wordsworth. A lie. No man is obsolete. You have no function, Mr. Wordsworth. You're an anachronism, like a ghost from another time. I am nothing more than a reminder to you that you cannot destroy truth by burning pages. You're a bug, Mr. Wordsworth, a crawling insect, an ugly, misformed little creature who has no purpose here, no meaning. I am a human being. Delusions, Mr. Wordsworth, delusions that you inject into your veins with printer's ink, the narcotics that you call literature, poetry, essays of all kind, all of it, an opiate. You have nothing but spindly limbs and a dream, and the state has no use for your kind. I don't care. I tell you, I don't care. I'm a human being. I exist. And if I speak one thought aloud, that thought lives, even after I'm shoveled into my grave. The Chancellor, the late Chancellor, was only partly correct. He was obsolete. But so is the state, the entity he worshipped. Any state, any entity, any ideology that fails to recognize the worth, the dignity, the rights of man, that state is obsolete.